on this video. My name is Natty Boss. I'm a registered dietitian, fitness trainer, and lifestyle coach of ButterbyBoss.com. And today we are going to solve the ever-pressing question of when is the right time to work out. Before we get into the video, I want to let you guys know that if you stay tuned for the whole video, you can get a snippet of my free PDF to get a shredded core. That will be in the description box, so please stay tuned at the end of the video to snag your free PDF so that you can start getting those abs you've always wanted today. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let me first and foremost start off by saying, any workout is better than no workout. So you always wanna try to get some kind of sweat. Doesn't matter if you're on the treadmill, you're lifting weights, you're doing some body weight stuff, but you always wanna try to get at least a little bit of a sweat every day. It could even be something just like yoga to stretch and that could be your active recovery day, just to always get that body moving. As we age, it's just the fact that we're going to get tighter, we're gonna lose muscle, we're gonna lose bone density. And so you wanna just prevent that as much as possible. And by working out a little bit each day, you can really, really help to reverse that aging process. That said, I'm gonna give you my personal opinion on what I think is better. Sorry, my doggy dog is running around. Working out in the morning and at night and what the difference would be. So let's start with at night. So like I said, anytime you can squeeze in a workout, if it's late at night, then do it at night. So that pretty much covers it. <laughs> you wanna just squeeze in anything, even 15 minutes, anything you can get, the gym's about to close, just squeeze in that workout at night. Now, some reasons why I don't personally like to work out at night, um, even though I have done it multiple times in the past, but it's not my preference. And one of the main reasons being that after working out, if, especially if it's late, late at night, you might have already eaten dinner, so you're less likely to eat a post-workout food or snack, which really aids in recovery and aids in building muscle, so you're missing out on that. In addition, you're so revved up from working out that it actually can inhibit your sleep and your quality of sleep because your body's so active and it's ready to be, be moving. You just gave it all this energy. It used that energy, turned it to, to fuel in the body that stored carbs or fat, whatever it was for your main source of fuel, and now it's feeding your body and it's ready to go. However, it's already 10 o'clock at night and now you're going to wind down. So I find that when I work out at night, I'm usually mentally simulated way into the night hours, which really, really affects my sleep. And so I really try not to do a workout, but sometimes, like I said, if I can't do it and squeeze it in any other time of the day, I have to do it at night and it just, my sleep does suffer from that. And you don't want that to happen all the time because long-term sleep deprivation and poor sleep can really, really wreak havoc on your health. So that leads us to morning workouts. Morning workouts are essentially they do the opposite for you. So not only does it give you that boost of energy that will really help to sustain you throughout the day, but you're also setting your metabolism high to already start burning calories throughout the day. So just sitting, you're going to burn way more calories throughout the day, even when you're eating, than somebody who didn't work out. Not only that, but it also helps to improve your digestion and although exercise improves your digestion at night too, that can also affect your sleep if you end up having to wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. So the more early in the day that you can get your workout done, it's as simple as the more you'll just have the energy to go about your daily activity, you'll feel better about yourself throughout the day. You'll, you'll also be more likely to make healthier food choices because you had a great workout and now you feel good. And so what food choices can you make to really help sustain that good feeling energy. And a lot of the times fast food is not the answer for that. So whereas if you don't work out, you're much more likely to fall into old habits and eating and just your regular routine. So the more you can get that workout in the morning, it really sets your day on the right pace. She's upset because I'm not playing ball. I will get to you in a second, Eloise. In short, you can work out day or night, but my personal opinion is to work out as early in the day as possible. Again, just because of all the benefits I just listed, you can experiment what works best for your lifestyle. Again, if you're a truck driver and you work those crazy hours where maybe you work, you know, that overnight shift, then you have to adjust when you can work out because sleep is a priority at that point. One, you can't crash in a car. And two, you just sleep I don't even know if it, it may be more important than exercise, really, because you need that mental cognition, that clarity, and sleep really does do that for you. Um, so really squeezing that workout, 
Doesn't matter when you get it, but I prefer doing it in the morning for those reasons. If this gave you a little bit of insight or help in helping you schedule your day or your week a little bit better to you know adjust and see what works best for you, then make sure you give a comment below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload videos twice a week, every Monday and every Thursday. So I hope to see you in the next one. And before you go, don't forget to check out the description box so you can get your free PDF on how to get shredded core. Thanks guys, I love you so much. Thank you for supporting me and I will see you next time. Yeah.